All right, guys. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the chain wire um, using 26 gauge Cantal. Um, so, what you're going to need is 26 gauge Cantal, um, a drill, some pliers, some cutters. Um, and that's about it. So, let's uh, get started here. First, you're gonna need about three to four feet of um, 26 gauge Canthal. Hold it in half. And these um, two ends here, you're just gonna put them together. Try to make them somewhat even, doesn't really matter. Um, and just sort of manually twist them together. Um, and then I kind of butterfly mount like that um, only because my drill um, it's chuck is a little wide to just stick 26 gauge in so I uh, when I fan it out like that I put it in between the two teeth um, of the drill I'm gonna see the teeth of the chuck and tighten her down Driver, you're gonna put it in one end of your handle here, kind of like so, and then just start twisting away. And you're gonna want to twist this. Um, just about until breaking point. You'll feel the wire start to shrink as it twists together. Um, let it do that. You want to keep tension on the wire, um, otherwise it could kink. We're going to go a little more. Starting to suck in here. Once you get to the point where you feel a lot of twisting power right here, you can see how the wire kind of wants to kink up. Um, that's when you want to stop. Um, basically, you just want to kind of slowly unwind like three or four times, um, just whatever it'll let you, so that way it doesn't kink. Um, and then take it out of your drill. And clip each end. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your twisted piece of 26 gauge, you're going to fold it in half, and then kind of do the same process you did. Um, take these, the loose end, and kind of just manually 
give them a couple twists. Insert that back into the truck of the drill. You want to make sure the wire is in the middle of the chuck too. Now that you're at this point and your wire is nice and straight, you're going to clamp one end with your pliers. Now you're going to put your drill in reverse. And you're going to reverse twist the twisted 26 gauge that's been folded in half. And go slow on this one because um, you want to see it become a chain because uh, it's very easy to. Uh, go too far. You can kind of see how it's starting to come together a little bit there. stop right there um, that's what you're looking for I don't know if you can see it too well on camera but um, hold this end while you let go of the pliers because uh, it will want to twist back on you and just kind of let it slowly twist back flip each end and this wire is very pretty thick um, so if you're going to do dual, if you're going to do dual coil, um, you're going to want something that either has a positive lock or um, has the positive post drilled out like majorly. Um, you can kind of see um, what it looks like there. You wrap a coil with it. I'll just wrap a quick one here, real quick. I like four wraps with this one. Um, seems to heat up nice, heats up better. Uh, you get too many wraps, it's just too much ramp up time. Um, the wire never really gets hot. Um, you keep it at four wraps, even at dual coil, it's a nice vape. Nice dense flavor. Great flavor off this coil too. Um, there she is. Um, you can kind of see it there. Your chain coil. So that's how to build that. And you can just insert this into your RDA, wrap another coil on the other side, and you're all set to go. Alright, guys, thanks for watching my video. Peace.